psalmist wrote, I was young and now I'm old. And I've never seen the righteous forsaken. There is children begging for bread. Huh? Now that's silly. A poet wrote, Till the tropic sun grows cold, Till this young world grows old, my darling, I'll adore you. Now that, that's rubbish. A noted scientist wrote to one he adored and said, There's no life without you. Nothing means anything anymore. Had his intellect collapsed? Why do people talk like that? Why do they talk like that in the face of obvious facts to the contrary? Do they really believe what they're saying? The psalmist knew nothing of the righteous, poor, dying during famines? Huh? The poet thought he'd live longer than the sun? The brilliant scientist. He thought that the laws of rationality had collapsed because she was gone. Now it would be nonsense if we seriously thought that they thought like that. Well, what are people doing when they speak in that way? Well, I'm no specialist in the area or any other area if it comes to that. But I know what they're feeling when they speak that way. The psalmists persuaded beyond debate that God is faithful and caring. The poet, he's enthralled with his beloved and he commits himself to her for always. And the scientist is shattered by his loss and everything now lacks point. My bother. None of them has the least interest in curbing his speech or putting a rein on his heart. Each one of them defies the ordinary and the obvious. And he's carried beyond precision and logic. The heart's too full for those. However useful they are, however, however essential they are in other areas. It isn't, no, no, it isn't that they've taken leave of the truth. It's that the truths that have come home to them in these moments loom larger than the other truths that they're well aware of. Look, if you'd remind the psalmist that some righteous people and their children had starved to death, he'd shake his head and tell you you'd miss his point. If you told the poet how long it'll be before the tropic sun grows cold, he'd smile at you in his lunatic way as if you were the lunatic. Ah, and if you told the scientist 
that other things still made sense, he'd say, for you, perhaps. When Christians sing hymns that seem so far removed from the facts of life, when they pray prayers that are so out of touch with reality, presuming that is that they're sincere in expressing their faith, we're not to sneer and think they've taken leave of their senses. Perhaps they have, in the best sense of those words. But no, they're relying on truths and facts other than the ones that seem to deny all that they're singing and praying and proclaiming. Sometimes when their worlds come tumbling down around them, it's in light of that that they sing and pray other massive truths and realities. Truths and realities that take their loss, their real loss, and embrace it, absorb it without harm. They aren't talking nonsense. They aren't denying truth. They're expressing faith and proclaiming bigger truths. They've come to know the bigger picture, don't you see? The bigger picture about the one true God who has shown himself to us in and as Jesus Christ. And that being the case, like poets and lonely scientists, they speak the grander sense and defy common sense. And a host of them, they do it just as enthralled as the poet. <laughs>